All right, evening, everybody. Uh, did I go through your, I, I think I went through everybody's um, topic sentences or were there new groups formed or, or here what, let me, let me start it this way. Let me just go back through, let me do what I did last night in the other class and then I will proceed in terms of the new focus. All right, Anika Maraj, can I just share a screen for me with your broad topic, narrow topic, and the other information? You and or your group members. Anika Maraj. Yes, sir. Good Good evening, everyone, sir. I'm sure. No, one minute, please, sir. Okay. All right, just walk us through for, I know it's, we have heard it before, but just walk us through. We're not hearing you. Miss Anika, we're not hearing you. Walk us through from broad topic. Yes, sir, I'm here. I am here, sir, sorry. Um. So the broad topic is forensic accounting. The narrow topic is how can forensic accounting benefit a business? Question, in what ways can forensic accounting benefit a business? Answer, forensic accounting can benefit a business in several ways. The thesis, helping to minimize unnecessary loss, Heading in finance management and reducing risk to fraudulent activities are ways forensic accounting can benefit a business. The topic sentences are one, helping to minimize unnecessary loss is one way forensic accounting can benefit a business. Two, heading in finance management is another way forensic accounting can benefit a business. And three, reducing risk to fraudulent activities is the final way in which forensic accounting can benefit a business. And so a uh, reference, um, one is an author web page, uh, one is a magazine, and the other one is a newsletter newsletter i don't understand the newsletter so sir um while one of our team members right um she was looking through for an article and um she found a newsletter it stated newsletter and it was the only thing at the time she could find um regarding to so are we so we are seeing a newsletter so the first type of the first source is what so the first source is author web page sir the second source is what uh, ooh, the second one is the newsletter but the third one is a magazine sir i know I am you not convinced of, of, of that because i'm seeing cron small business i think that's a blog sir Yes, sir. So, sir, that is what we're still, sir, to be honest, we're still working on it. She wasn't really sure at the time. This was the only thing we were finding regarding to her sentence topic. So she, we're still looking, sir, but this is the only issue that we are having at the moment. With the newsletter, um, something you refer to as the blog, the same, the same right. one. Right, so you need to find a book and you need a journal and... Uh, or a journal, sir. 
Right. Yes, so let me just give you academia. I don't remember if I'd said this before. Academia.edu.jm. You can look there. This is for everybody. Google Scholar. You can look there. You need to look at the library, ECC library database system. You probably not know data base. Go to those places to get um, credible sources um, on your um, for your search question. All right, it's not bad. It's just that the sources now need to be proper. Um, okay, sir. To be more credible. All right. Remove the bold and the underline and from the from reference and it's supposed to be references because it's a plural word. So correct those things for me. Should be size. Size 12, remove the underline. All right. All right, so I won't comment on the sources until you have um, corrected them. All right. So you have corrected them. All right, stop sharing for me. It, it, the topic sentences are okay, relatively okay. Just work on the sources. All right, Cheryl Jadu Barrett, go ahead for me. So it's not me sharing. Okay. Will it will it be you? Are you are you sure, is this, all right? Go ahead for me. Okay, sir, you're seeing my screen? Uh, hold on. Yes, I am. So just walk us through now. Okay, so broad topic, workplace safety. Narrow topic, reason for workplace safety in manufacturing companies. Question, what are some of the reasons for workplace safety in manufacturing companies? Answer, there are several reasons for workplace safety in manufacturing companies. Thesis. Preventing industrial accidents, avoiding unexpected expenses, and increasing workforce productivity are some of the reasons for workplace safety in manufacturing companies. Remember to pronounce your S, reasons. Reasons. Topic sentences, preventing industrial accidents is one of the reasons for workplace safety in manufacturing companies. Avoiding unexpected expenses is another reason Another reason, sorry, for workplace safety in manufacturing companies, increasing workforce productivity is the final reason for workplace safety in manufacturing companies. Okay, so our references here, well, first one is an authored web page, the second one is a journal, and the third one is a news article. Um, okay, all right. Can you tell us how does the first one, so the first one supports which topic sentence? Walk us it's through supposed that, the, It support the first topic sentence, but I did it in order, sir, because you said the, re, the references should be in order. So the second reference, which is the journal, is mm -hmm. for the third topic, and then the last reference is for the second topic. Topic sentence. Topic sentence, sorry. Please. All right, so do this for me now. You're going to put the remove the, the colon at references for me. And you're going to center the word references. All right, put the cursor at the K for me in Krishnan, the second source, at the beginning. Okay. Press back, delete or back for me. Again, do that for Leo for me, please. All right, you're going to copy from Krish none to the end of this last source. Um, bring a paragraph for me and do the hanging for me. Right, that's how it should look. All right, thank you. All right, okay. stop sharing for me. Remember to save. 
Okay, sir, thanks. All right. Um, Shanae Nugent, go ahead for me. So oh, she's with us, sir. She, I'm okay. with and yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. All That's right. Okay. Is it, yeah, Dean, Dadrian Brown, go ahead for me. Sir, I was the one who just shared. Okay. Um, Donet Ramsey, go ahead for me. Donet Ramsey, are you there? Hi, sir. Is it possible I can send you my, I haven't started mine. Remember, I wasn't at class last week and you gave me a new topic on Tuesday. So I haven't started it as yet. Okay. Um, Kanaya or Kenya Anderson. Go ahead for me. You are the person or persons you're working with. So I'm going to share. Okay. Walk us through. Okay, so our broad topic is health and wellness. Narrow topic, how to manage burnout among the security forces in the USA. Question, what are some ways to manage burnout among the security forces in the USA? Answer, there are several ways to manage burnout among the security forces in the USA. Thesis, engaging in more outdoor social activities, providing shifts break, and enrolling in healthy lifestyle practices are some of the ways to manage burnout among the security forces in the USA. Topic sentences. One, engaging in more outdoor social activities is one way to manage burnout among the security forces in the USA. Two, Providing shifts break, shift breaks is another way to manage burnout among the security forces in the USA. Three, enrolling in healthy lifestyle practices is the final way to manage burnout among the security forces in the USA. And now we have our references. All right, hold on. So remove, we'll the word, remove the word magazine for me, book and journal for me. Remove those words. Okay, so. Oh, undo. Delete. Delete. All right, so match the sources with the topic sentences and the last one is not properly aligned. Backspace. Right. Don't worry about their hanging. You can fix that later. Okay. Just walk us through. All right. Press backspace again for me. Yes. That's again. Okay now. Again. Right. Go up to Wilson and press backspace for me too. Right. You can fix the hanging after. Just tell link the, the sources okay, to the topic sentences. So. All right. For topic sentence number one, we have a magazine for it. Here we have a magazine. You don't need to highlight it. You can read. Just talk to us. Okay. Topic sentence number two, we have a book. And for a topic sentence number three, we have a journal. Okay, all right, thanks. Stop sharing. Okay, sir. All right, that was Kanaya. Kimani Grant, go ahead for me.
Mr. Grant, you and are your group members. Yes. Walk us through the paper. And this is the final walkthrough. There will be no more walkthrough after this. I'm going to teach the new topic. Okay. So our broad topic is business technology, business and technology. Our nerd topic is benefits of implementing lending software in the finance sector. Our question is what are some of the benefits of implementing lending software in the finance sector? Our answer, there are several benefits of implementing lending software in the finance sector. Our thesis, protecting data integrity, reducing implementation time, and assisting in recovery of data are some of the benefits of implementing lending software in the finance sector. Our topic sentences are, one, protecting the data integrity. Protecting data integrity in one, is one benefit of implementing lending software in the finance sector. Two, reducing implementation time is another benefit of implementing lending software in the finance sector. And three, assisting in recovery of data is the final benefit of implementing lending software in the finance sector. So our references are in order as to how our topic centers are set out. The but it's not in, in, it's supposed to be in alphabetical order according to last oh, name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, don't do that right now, just walk us through. Okay, so the first one is a newspaper. First one would be a reference for a newspaper. The second one is a author's web page. With capital letters all over the place that need to be lowered. We'll do that afterwards. You'll okay. do that afterwards. Yes, sir. And our final one is a journal, sir. Which is not properly documented because the full stops are even not there and capital letters are always all over the place. If the second one is a journal, what's the name of the journal? The last one, I mean. You said the last one is a journal because I'm seeing the deal. I am seeing the volume and issue number. What's the name of the journal? It's the emerging markets and finance entry. You need to look back at that, at that. That's not properly um, documented. Okay, sir, right. will do. Yes, sir. All right, thanks very much, Kimani and group. Um, Marisha Bailey, go ahead for me. Is it Marisa or Marisha? Marisha and my group member shared already. Okay. Um, this is Marsha Riley Lamont. Go ahead for me. Mrs. Riley Lamont, are you there? Afternoon, sir. Give me one second. I'm actually using a phone. I'm on way home. All right. So, all right. So, we'll allow you to reach home. Um, we don't want to put you, it sounds like you're even driving or something or you're in a bus and, you know, Jamaicans can be quite noisy. So if it is that you have it, can one of your other group members who is not in a, who is not en route home to share? I would prefer that. I don't want you to share um, in such a noisy background. And worse, you're using your phone. Next thing, then grab your phone. We live in a very violent country, so we have to be very careful. So I'll delay your presentation, Miss Riley Lamont, until you are in a safe space or one of your group members can present. All right. All right, Norman, go ahead for me, Toy Loy. Norman. Sir, Norman is in my group, Kenya group. Yes, sir. Kenya um, presented for okay. my group. How many, how many persons are in that group? Um, three, sir. Oh, just checking. All right, Rohana, Earl, go ahead for me. Sir, my group member said she had presented. Okay. Um, Rochelle Abraham Stewart. And as I said before, this is the last of the going through that. I'm going to teach something that is going to be a little bit more challenging. So I want for you to pay special attention. I'm going to give you two examples and then you're going to do the rest on your own. And once you have that, then we're going to do teach you how to do the TED talk and then you're going to get the first grade piece. Um, I think I called a name a while ago. And I'm going to share screen from the phone because I don't think um Rochelle is able. And it, you're in a noisy background, and I prefer if you wait until you reach home. <laughs> All right, sir. I'll wait, do it when I reach home. Yeah, man. Do it. I'll wait, man. I do have a problem waiting until you reach home. I, sir, I, I'm, Jamaica is a bit too valid. I'm with Marsha, so I'm trying to share screen. So I'm having internet trouble, but give me a quick second. So if Remind me of yours again. I'm come back. I'm, I'm trying. You can hear me good, sir. 
Yeah, man, I can hear it. What's Renewable your energy? energy? Okay, all right. So I'll come back to you. Just remind me if I don't remember. Um, Tony and Towson, okay. go ahead. Yes. Tony and Towson, go ahead for me. All right, walk us through, please. Broad topic, health education, narrow topic, how nutrition education can reduce- Edu, edu, not edi, edu. Education can reduce obesity. Question, what are some of the ways nutrition education can reduce obesity? Answer, there are several ways nutrition education can reduce obesity. Thesis, promoting healthier eating habits, building skills that enhance healthy dietary behaviors, and restricting sugar-sweetened beverages are several ways nutrition education can reduce obesity. Topic sentences. <laughs> promoting healthier eating habits is one way nutrition education can reduce obesity, building skills that enhance healthy dietary behaviors, is another way nutrition education can reduce obesity. Restricting sugar sweetened beverages is the final way nutrition education can reduce obesity. The first reference is a book and it's for topic sentence two. The second reference is a newspaper article. It's for topic sentence one. And the third reference is a journal and it's for topic sentence three. All right, so for the journal, the name of the journal, the, all the long words um, begin, with, begin with capital letters, okay? So make that correction for me, for the journal. So journal preventative and medicine all begin with capital letters. Yes, all right, thank you. Um, who is next? Let me just go to my participants list. Um, Tevon Jackson, go ahead for me. You are, or your group members. Mr. Jackson, are you there? Tevon going once. He's usually here and usually participates. So Tevon is on my team. Okay. My oh, you, oh, you presented already? Yes, sir. All right. Tanisha Gale, go ahead for me. I'm in group with to, um, Tony and Tozen that just presented. Okay. Um, Masters, go ahead for me. Okay, sir. Um, sharing. All right, walk us through from the top. Okay. Um, broad topic. It ethical leadership ethical, ethical ethical leadership and governance narrow topic benefits of whistleblowing in the public sector organization no so in public sector organizations okay all right i make the correction correct it now for me please okay benefits of whistleblowing in public sector organization hold on make the correction throughout the document because i think you were one of the persons who got it last right yes sir to make the correction now i'll give you the time because i want okay. to ensure that you're aware everybody else is because everybody else is kind of way ahead in it I'm yeah really doing this because i know some persons formed their groups last class so correct it now for me please the other persons are just going to share and go through quickly And while she's doing that, guys, just look through 
read through for her as well, just to see if there's, there are any other corrections that are needed. You can make the recommendation because she has to correct it as well in the topic sentences in terms of public sector organizations. All right, and if you think that her her subclaims are not strong enough, if you can think of any other other stronger points, you can make the recommendation. All right, walk us through when you're finished. Start from the top again. Okay, um, ethical leadership and governance um, for the broad topic, narrow topic benefits of whistleblowing in public sector organizations. Um, question, what are the benefits of whistleblowing in public sector organizations? Answer, there are several benefits of whistleblowing in public sector organization. Thesis, Shans, sorry, sorry. Thesis, ensuring transparency and good governance, um, preventing wrongdoing and driving better communication and trust are some of the benefits of whistleblowing in public sector organizations. Go no further, hold on. Um, how many subclaims are you guys seeing in that thesis? How many subclaims are in that thesis? Sherry Ann, can you tell me, Sherry Ann? Sir, about five. Probably five yes, you're seeing five. I'm seeing five as well. Uh, can you? All right, tell her what are the five you're seeing. Five. Ensuring transparency, mm -hmm. good grief, governance, preventing wrongdoing, driving better communication, and trusting. Right, yeah. so, so all those, so you need to refine it. So transparency and good governance, um, they are they the same? Do they mean the same? So if they mean the same, you just need to use one word. Or if they don't mean the same thing, you need to look at it, probably look at transparency in one and then look at good governance in another. So you have to kind of make that decision now because you need to take out one of them, all right? Okay, sir. Uh, well, it's not me alone. Can the group member tell me which one to take out? Is good governance and transparency um, synonymous? Do they mean the same thing? Yes, sir. Good governance. Okay. All right. Um, so driving better communication and trust. Um, should we take up the trust? What about preventing what about preventing corruption? Oh, so change the wrongdoing to corruption. The wrongdoing just sound a little bit um, fifth formish. <laughs> At your level, you need to use more sophisticated terms. What do you mean by wrongdoing? Uh, uh, basically, whatever you should not be doing. You, I am not a part of these public sector no, organizations. Well, whatever the employees should not be doing. Like, so is it that um, preventing illegal acts or preventing corruption? Let's put corruption. There. Let's leave wrongdoing for now. You probably will work it out. All right, let's go to the other part about driving better communication and trust. So which of the two are you going to? Um, uh, we use communication. And I think trust is better than communication, you know. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think in terms of whistleblowing, it's it's about well you you determine still you 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 determine no 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 don't take my advice and then you struggle to write about it you know if the, if you feel that you want to write, write about the first part then do that so remove trust and put back what you had before because at the end of the day you are writing the paper and i'm marking and when i'm marking the paper has to speak for itself it has to stand on its own two feet okay so so make the corrections now in the topic sentences. I'm almost sure transparency and good governance are not the same. They don't mean the same, you know. 
somewhere in my head I'm seeing. All right, define. Um, should I go over or not? You're asking me? You must be asking your group members, not me. <laughs> okay, um, the thesis ensuring transparency, preventing wrongdoing, and driving better communications are some of the benefits of whistleblowing in public sector organizations. Um, topic sentence sentences. Um, ensuring transparency is one of the benefits of blowing whistleblowing in public sector organizations. Preventing wrongdoing is another benefit of whistleblowing in public sector organizations. Um, driving better communication is a final benefit of whistleblowing in public sector organizations. Um, references. All right, the first reference, um, we have a journal, and it is for the topic sentence number one. Um, the second reference we have is a newspaper, and it is for topic sentence number three. And the last reference is a book without chapter, and it is for number two. Okay, um, I just feel that the the third one you probably you probably are going to change the third one, but let's just stay for now. Okay, sir. So. Because something like holding public officials accountable, I think, would make sense in a in an instance like this. It it but it probably comes under good governance, so I, I'm not sure. All right, thanks for sharing. You seem to be um. Let me just look at these sources. I never really, I was looking for something for, all right. So you have a comma and a full stop. What date is that source? The third source is 2003. That's not current. Oh. So you need to change that one. There are full stop missing in separate, some, some parts of the paper. Stop sharing. Those are minor <laughs> errors. You can work on those. Those are not major. Um, All right, um, Sherry Ann Bartley, go ahead for me. Janika? Yes. All right, so our broad topic, regulation and compliance. Narrow topic, roles of compliance regulations within the banking sector in the Caribbean. Question, what are the roles of compliance regulations within the banking sector in the Caribbean? Answer, wait. Who is moving the, um, you can't sure. really have been moving the thing all okay. over. We need to see what is happening. There reduce are it several. Me, no, reduce it for me, please. Bring it back to about 120. It's too big. Bring it back to about 120. Yeah. Right. Let it stay that way. It's okay. Answer. There are several. Go from the thesis for me. Oh, go to the thesis. It's okay. Okay. Go straight to the thesis. Make, yes. Making sure that banks are there to internal protocols, ensuring that banks undertake their legal responsibilities and helping to enforce anti-money laundering policies are several roles of compliance regulations within the banking sector in the Caribbean. Topic sentences, one, making sure that banks are there. The internal protocols is one of the rules of compliance, regulations within the banking sector in the Caribbean, Jamaica. 
in, in the, the Caribbean. Caribbean. Jamaica? No, Jamaica. Um, can you erase that part, please? Jamaica. The topic sentence number one, erase Jamaica. Right there. In the Caribbean. Sorry, sir. To ensuring that the banks undertake their legal responsibilities is another role of compliance regulations within the banking sector in the Caribbean. Three, helping to enforce anti money laundry, laundering policies in the is the final role of compliance regulations within the banking sector in the Caribbean. Our reference is no. The first reference is a journal. It speaks the topic sentence number three. The second reference is a newspaper article or, or slash news article. It speaks the topic sentence number two. Where's the third source? The third source, sir, it's been, it's been a challenge and we're still working on it. Okay, you need to work it out. You can't have the and sign in that. You must have the ampersand. So in the second source, please remove the and, the word and, and put the ampersand for me, please. This is what we call the and sign. Right. All right, so work on it. Thanks. Thank you, sir. All right. Um, let me see on my list. Uh, Chantal Miller. Sir, my group presented already. Okay. Um, Shannon Melbourne. My group presented already. Shanika Thompson. Sir, just presented with Sherry Ann and. Okay. Um, yes. Sasha Gay Smith Lee. Sasha Gay Smith Lee, go ahead for me. It's too large. We can't see the broad topic and all of that. Can you reduce it to about 120 so that we can see from the top? Walk us through the document, please. You know the drill. It's now at 86. I don't know why it's at 86. We can't, we're not going to be able to see 86. Just put your cursor at the bottom right and just click on the increase, the plus sign, right? Go to the top of the document, please, and start talking to us. I'm not hearing anything, Sasha Gay um, Smith Lee. I don't know if your mic is muted, but we're not. Either you are talking or somebody from the group is talking, but we need to hear voices. Miss Lee is saying she's un unable to. Um, so who else? Who are you? With whom are you working? Can the person speak? That person should speak. All right, if nobody's going to talk, you can stop sharing because I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going through all of this. Um, persons are have a responsibility to present. It's Ricardo. Where is Ricardo in the class? I'm not seeing a Ricardo on the participants list. So if there is no Ricardo, um, you can stop sharing for me, please. I'm not going to, let's not waste it, the, the, the time. When you're able to share, you can, we can come back to you, all right? Ms. Smith Lee, can you stop sharing, please? Thank you.
Rohana, Rohana Earl. Presented already, sir. Um, this is Rashidia, Rashidia Smith. Go ahead for me. Presented with Miss Anderson, sir. Okay. All right. So is there any group that has not presented? Because I have exhausted the list. Yes, sir. All right. Go ahead for me. Yes, sir. Are you sharing screen? Okay, hold on. I'm meeting my. Is she still there? Santana, I think her name is. Santana, are you there? Yes, sir. Can you share a screen, please? Yes, sir. I'm using my phone. Are you seeing me? Yes, so walk us through it, please. You have to walk us through. But the black topic is gender and sexuality. Is there anybody else in the group that can share because there's a lot of noise in the background? Uh, not at the moment. They are both um, three of the And three, are you not in the class? Three persons in the group and none, no, you are the only one who can share? Yes, because of the work that they do, they were unable to um, I just find that a little bit hard to believe that the, a, a, such a large group and only one person can present. That seems a little bit strange. Sir, I can share screen. Go ahead for me. Sir, you see me? Yes, walk us through, please. Uh, broad topic, human trafficking, narrow topic, problem associated with fighting human trafficking in the Caribbean. Question, what is the problem associated with fighting human trafficking in the Caribbean? What is the problem? What the narrow topic is problems, problems associated with, please, Make the correction throughout the paper. And you have capital letters all over that are not supposed to be there. I didn't um, reduce. So law enforcement law should not be in a capital letter. Exploitation should not be capital. So please fix all of that before you go any further. And then you restart. Broad well, topic, human trafficking, narrow topic, problems associated with fighting human trafficking in the Caribbean. Question, what are the problems associated with fighting human trafficking in the Caribbean? Answer, there are several problems. It can be is, because they're, they're problem, the, the, the subject is plural. Answer, there are several problems associated with fighting human traffic in the Caribbean. This is migration, law enforcement, and exploitation are problems associated with fighting human traffic in the Caribbean. Hold on, hold on, go back up. I don't, can you explain these subclaims? So, how, how is migration, um, how does migration become a problem in fighting um, human trafficking in the Caribbean? And you have human traffic in the thesis 
problems associated with fighting human trafficking. So please make that correction throughout the paper again. Throughout the entire paper, remember you have topic sentences too. Walk us through the paper. Remember, this is your job to walk us through the paper. Okay, so you said, Mike, oh, is migration? How does migration become a problem um, with fighting human trafficking? Can you explain for me, please? Okay. Um, someone, uh, let's, let's say that someone um, going into another, migrating to another country, they don't know the country that they are going in. So um, maybe they take a, 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 a transportation and then get, and get kidnapped. So, Did you read upon this topic? Uh, I was reading, but said it's an issue. You didn't see much on human trafficking? I'm not convinced that you did any work at all because there's a lot of scholarship on human trafficking, a whole lot. There are several international organizations dedicated to fighting human trafficking that have written, ex that have done extensive research on human trafficking that continues to do a whole heap of work on human trafficking. So clearly no work was done because this is why you come up with migration, law enforcement and exploitation. None of those are problems with fighting um, human trafficking, all right? So you need to revisit this paper. Remember that you are engaged in academic um, inquiry and you're doing serious work. If you write, um, as my high school principal used to say to me, if you, if you put in rubbish in the calculator, you're going to get out rubbish, all right? So you have a responsibility to sit down and do proper work. Miss Watson and whoever with whomever you're working. So ensure that when you come back, Next time around, that you have something, uh, um, some solid sub claims. Can anybody think of any um, problems associated with fighting human trafficking? Let's help help them in the interest. Can you think of any problem associated with fighting human trafficking? If you want to Google as well and kind of help them to kind of. I'm not hearing you so clearly. We're not hearing you so clearly. Um, I'm internet chat Inter I'm not hearing you. Could you speak? Internet chat fishing. Um, explain that for me. I'm, I'm not familiar with the term. Because um, persons use different identities on the internet to meet some of these other people. And when they actually realize it's somebody who's going to be different. Are we hearing her? I'm not sure I'm hearing her. Sir, we're not hearing her, but catfishing has to do with someone poses, posing online as another person or someone pretending to be someone else. Um, do we see that as, uh, as, a, as a problem? Could it be a problem in terms of fighting human trafficking? Sir, lack of awareness could be a problem? Or lack of awareness, sir? 
it could be weak legislation or in it they don't have enough laws to fight the problem so even when they catch the, 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 the traffickers the laws are not there to prosecute them or the laws don't give them long enough sentence it could be that the society in which they live they don't really value or see a problem with human there are several i'm looking at something right now uh, and it's the first thing that pops up at, at on me at, at with google and they're giving me about 15 different problems so I'm not sure um, what research was done. There are so many different problems. Anyway, we're not going to do your work for you, all right? Stop sharing from you. You're going to go back and do the work. All right, who else is supposed to share? Um, I'm ready, sir. I'm home now. All right, go ahead for me. Right. From the top the broad, for me. All right. The broad topic is renewable energy, and the narrow topic is roles of renewable energy in the sustainable development of Jamaica. Question: What are the roles of renewable energy in the sustainable development of Jamaica? Our answer is there are several roles of renewable energy in the sustainable development of Jamaica. The thesis: reducing dependence on fossil fuels lessening the vulnerability of climate change and improving energy security are some of the rules of renewable energy in the sustainable development of Jamaica. Um, topic sentence, Cheers. reducing, uh, sorry, topic sentences, let me scroll up. Reduce independence of fossil fuels is one role of renewable energy in the sustainable So it's reducing dependence on? On. Fossil fuels. Fossil. Fossil fuels is one role of renewable energy in the sustainable development of Jamaica. Second sentence, lessening the vulnerability of climate change is another role of renewable energy in the sustainable development of Jamaica. And lastly, improving energy security is the final role of renewable energy in the sustainable development of Jamaica. And here are three sources. One is from a magazine. The second is from a new site, JIS Information Service. And the third is from a web page, the World Bank. But don't you have, oh, you have, a, all right, so you need to remove, the, you need to remove the word the from World Bank. It's not called the World Bank, it's called World Bank. Oh, okay. Right, it's just when World we are Bank. talking, we say the World Bank, but it's World Bank. Gotcha. Um, yeah. uh, all right, go back up for me. I would for the second sub claim, I would it's not lessening the vulnerability of climate change, is uh, how would you phrase it? Reducing. Reducing the adverse effects of climate change. So okay. let's just write reducing for now. You might find a different word. So or, or lessening the adverse effects of cli climate change. Lessening the adverse effects of climate change. Right. Um, explain the last one for me, improving energy security. That one I wasn't so sure about. Explain that one for me. I'm coming, sir. Mm -hmm. Can anybody help her to explain the last one? And if you want, no, I think some, who else is doing something? Any, any other group doing redu, um, renewable energy? Is there any other group in the class doing renewable energy? No. So you can, if you want, you can take out the sustainable development part of it, okay? If you think it's a little bit challenging to make it easier. Than you. So go back up to the top. Just scroll up. You don't need to use that. You need to learn how to use this thing very quickly. You don't necessarily need to go there to scroll up. 
All right, so go back up all the way up. Move a little faster for me. So you can say roles of renewable energy, um, roles of renewable energy in Jamaica, if you want to do that, instead of the sustainable development part, I'll allow you to do that. Thank you, sir. And then you can change it throughout. The, you have to change it throughout the paper, okay? I think okay, the sustainable. Sir, yeah, I think the sustainable development part probably causing you headaches. Yes, it has been causing headaches, sir. Yeah, but you actually not. You never did bad at all. Never did bad at all. On behalf of the group, thank you, sir. Yes, it's just the last one. Um, but a little bit, you know, a little bit off. All right, so you can make the changes throughout your paper because your your references is okay as well. So, um, stop sharing for me. All right, is there any other group that has not presented? All right, so so far, um, the groups are doing very well. Um, sir, my group, but I'm on the bus. Alone. All right, so when you so get a chance. Not here in me. Yeah, when you get home, we, you can call. Just remind me to allow you to share, all right? So for the most part, the groups are doing pretty well. Um, they just need to make a few corrections here and there. One group has more work to do than all the other groups. And as I said to you before, people, you have to invest the time that is needed to write the paper to develop your uh, essay and all of that, all right? And you will learn that I pay attention to information, no error misses me. If I don't see this class, trust me, another day I will see it, all right? And you will not pass the course without doing the work, let me just tell you. I'm not one of those lecturers you come on. We sit and have a good time. We keep stone love in the class and you get a wonderful grade and you leave and you don't know anything. That's not Mr. Clark. So you're going to do the work. All right, so today now I'm going to introduce you to something that's a little bit, um, I don't know if persons would want to say challenging, but it moves the pendulum along in the development of your paper. And I started a discussion with the other, well, started a, the started it with the other group, right? So I'm seeing that I, I'm seeing it here, but I'm going to use a different example. Um, but before I go, go to that, is there any group or any person who wants to ask a question? Anybody wants to ask a question, you know, you're unsure about something and you need some assistance. Should I take it that everybody's okay? Sir, I had my hand up, but let me ask you. Um, yeah. if, if, for example, when we just started with the, the topic sentence relating to the bank, if mm -hmm. it's a, 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 a website, the bank site, is that considered an authored web page? Anything we take off of it? I'm having a bit of trouble citing. That's an organization. No, that's an organization. So let's okay. just say the bank is called National Bank of Jamaica. That's right. not an authored way. That's the, that's the organization. It's just that the information is located on their website. But it's written by the organization. So okay. it's treated different. It's a different type of source, in other words. Okay. All, All right. right. Yes. Thank you. And that and it is accepted as well as a okay. source. Yes, it is accepted. Is that, how do we list? How how is it listed though? Like, you have the author web page. You have the journal. This, so it's the so if it is written. All right. So there are two ways of how you look at organizations. So remember, some organizations, even though they publish papers, they have persons who assign their names to the document. And there's another way of how you, you, co, um, you reference an organization where the organization itself is the author. All right. Um, you're I'm sure you're talking about like if, what, if you italicize or let me check. I don't remember. Um, I think it's documented similar, similarly to a book. Um, I, I think, but don't quote me. Before the class ends, I should be able to tell you. It's okay. not very different from, it's, it's either related to how you document the book um or the authored web page but don't quote me i'll check thank you sir yes yes sometimes i do forget the um forget the these things i have to constantly be looking them over all right so mark um, mrs sir. riley lamont go ahead i just see yes i'm gonna make it as... quick um i know you wouldn't have taught us how to reference certain documents 
but is it okay if we go ahead and reference the ones that you have not taught us based on what we see online and how to no what do i don't want ACSIs? no let me tell you why i'm preventing you from doing that my job is to teach you how to document varied sources if we allow students to just choose their own sources what happens is that they only go on site authored web pages so they don't learn how to cite a book they don't learn how to cite a journal they don't learn how to sign a magazine even though you're in an academic environment and you must look in journals and you must look in books so my job is to teach you the first part the foundational skills of how to cite different types of sources what you're supposed to do um, going forward is once you have learned the what we call foundational skills of um in-text citation as well as referencing, then you should be able to look at other types of sources and do it on your own to so, say, okay, if this is a manuscript, let me just Google or let me just watch YouTube how to document a manuscript in APA 7th edition. It should be very easy for you to make the transition. So that's why I'm very deliberate in terms of the sources being varied because when you allow students to only to choose their own sources, they go to the, the, the anything that pops up first on Google and many times it's just an authored web page. Why I'd ask, you know, because I went on um, University of Portland website and they showed how to reference doc, um, government documents from a website or in print and so forth, and they had the format laid out or enacted bill or resolution. So that's why I'd ask. So if you have the four of which I require, then you can add the extra one, but ensure it is properly de um, documented. Remember, for this paper, you can't go over six sources. No less than four, no more than six. Now that part we, I didn't at least maybe I missed it because about the first time. No, I'm 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 announcing me. No, we just don't reach there yet. As I tell you, you know, you're forcing me to answer you. So that's why I'm telling you no. But we're not there yet. All right. So once you give me the You four, said no less than four and no more than six. Right, because you're going to write the full essay, but we're not there yet. What we're developing now is what is called the sentence outline. It's like that, you know, like when you're building a house and you have the architecture and you have the design and the uh, and the, the, the draw, what they call the plan or the house plan or whatever you, you draw and you see the whole, where the bathroom is going to be and all of that. That's blueprint, what you're doing. Sir. The blueprint, yes. That's the word I was looking for. So this is the blueprint in, in, in academia. It's called sentence outline. So that's what I'm teaching you. You'll, I, I'm going to, there are several things I'm not teaching you yet. Um, and I know, I know, I'm kind of being unconventional, but I know when to teach you those particular things. All right. So all your concerns will be addressed. All right, Mrs. Lamont. Thank you, sir. All right, cool. Um, so I'm going to share screen with you now. And what we're going to do today, and I want for you to pay particular attention. Just lower your hand, Mrs. Lamont. I want for you to pay particular attention to, especially in this class, what we're going to do now, we're going to move from topic sentences my word is missing moving from topic sentences to supporting evidence all right in other words i'm going to show you how to quote unquote find and support well find evidence or develop evidence in support of your topic sentence all right so i'm going to use my own examples i'm going to use my examples um let me just so uh let me say let's say for example that my let's say for example my topic sentence is no i don't want this one uh give me one sec i'm getting old i can't bother developing anything with my head right now uh, oh, I shouldn't be saying that aloud. These things are being recorded, right? Okay, where did I put it? Not in this. Oh, no. Uh, okay. Where is it? This? this is on. Oh, my Cosmos students. No, not this. So let's say, let me choose from the list. 
let it let me make it very easy let's choose from the list let's say that we're looking for let's do something that you are not doing all right so let's say that oh no what i could do we actually had done some work on it in class i think let's put it on the other side all right Am I sharing screen? No, sir. All right, let me share screen so you can see what I'm doing. Narrowed, moving from. All right, so rem I think we had done this in class about, um, so going forward, you can remove the broad topic, the narrow topic and the answer and just have your research question and your thesis, okay? All the persons who have passed this stage, you can remove the broad topic, the narrow topic, and the answer, and just leave your research question and your thesis. So the question is research question. In other words, you're, the, you, this is really what you're proving. What are you're answering? What are the rules of genetically modified food in the global modified food in global food security? All right. And my thesis is increasing the rate of food production, increasing food availability, and extending the shelf life of food products are several roles of genetically modified food in global food security. And let me just put in bracket GMO. That's not G. All right, tell me if you understand. It shouldn't be difficult because that's what we're doing now. Understand everybody? Yes, sir. All right, so now I, you, let's, you can, which, we're going to choose one of the topic sentences and we're going to come up with three pieces of evidence. So which topic sentence are we doing together? Three. All right, so extending the shelf life of food products is the final rule of genetically modified food. All right, so we're going to do this one. All right, so let me just put it down a little bit down. Let me show you. Let's not call it four. All right, let me go one. And I'm going to go, no. I'm just typing these things for, because I wanted to see how you do it. What the? Sometimes you have D, sometimes, not always. All right. Extending the shelf life of food products is the final rule of genetically modified food. Remember now, we are moving from topic sentences into evidence. Let me insert. Sometimes this is, makes it a little clearer. Uh, let's bold. Let's do some designing work. Hmm. Do I put this? No, this is not what it is. Okay. All right. No, not that color. Oh, and then do white. Oh no, I don't come up yet. I have an obsession with this color. Right. Thank you. There you go. Is it clear or it's not so it's not so good with the eyes? Clear, sir. Clear? Okay. All right, good. All right. So now we want pieces of evidence. And in this case, let me put here for each topic. Sentence. Sorry, I have to turn it back to block. Oh, so I didn't realize. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I didn't realize that I wasn't. Okay. For each topic sentence, you need two to three pieces of evidence. Two 
two of which must come from sources. All right, tell me if that is that makes sense in your eyes. Let's redo, take off the front. Let's pretty this thing up. I have an obsession. No, why do I do that? Let's do it this way. All and right. these are the sources that we have referenced. Correct? Exactly. Exactly. So all persons were saying, well, this source is relevant to this topic sentence. Yeah, you know you're going to have to prove it, how the sources are relevant. All right, have I lost anybody um, yet? Hanging on, hanging on, sir. Go ahead. Hanging on, all right. <laughs> all right. Yes, Can start over, please? Start over. Where were you? Are you just joining the class? No, sir. I was a little bit distracted because I'm heading home. All right. Um, so what we are doing now is moving from topic sentences to supporting evidence. So all the topic sentences that you have so far, you now have to find two to three pieces of evidence and two of which must come from sources. So the sources that you have in your reference list, either you're going to use them or you're going to find other sources, because sometimes by the time you actually have to come up with the evidence, you might realize, oh, you know, this source is not so relevant. It's not giving me enough information. I think I want to use this source because this source can be used also for another in another topic sentence or something like that. All right. Okay, nothing. Right. Um, how do I phrase this now? I want to phrase it a particular way. Your evidence for each, I'm going to write TS. For short, all right. Let's put it up here because some students will say, sir, I mean, I know what that means. All right. So your evidence for each TS must answer the question either how or why. No, let's I know how to put it. Um, Your evidence must answer the the how or why of the topic sentence. Tell me if that makes sense. Make sense? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. So your evidence. So if you're if in the first topic sentence, um, your pieces of evidence is answering the whole, it means that all your evidence throughout the paper, all your pieces of evidence are answering how. What your the evidence here can be answering how and the other one here answering why. It's either one of the is either one or the other. Understand? Yes, sir. Right. So it's not. Yes, it's, sir. It's not that one section is doing how and the other piece of evidence answering why. No, it's either the entire pieces of evidence through the, the, the outline are going to answer how or they're going to answer why. So tell me which of the two is um, should the evidence here answer how or why of this topic sentence? Oh. All right, oh. so it should answer how, right? So extending the shelf life of food products is the final rule of genetically modified food in global food security. Is there any term that I need to define in my topic sentence or is it clear? Genetically modified? No, we don't need to define that because that would have been defined in the, in, in the introduction. So shelf life? Why would you define shelf life? Don't you know what that means? You don't define things for the reader that they already know. It's like telling them that the sun shines. If they know how the sun shines, 
And I'm going to do another one and show you um, why I asked a question. All right, so let's say we're going to talk about how, right? So now we want to, I'm going to pretend that I've read the sources. I, I know I'm going to cite from the sources. I'm going to paraphrase. I just want you to paraphrase for now. In other words, put what the sources say in your own words. And I will know if you're cheating or if you're plagiarized because I have a software that is going to tell me and I'm going to teach you that as well, but we're not there yet. So be honest. Um, extending the shelf life of food products is the final rule. So all I need to do in this instance for convenience of teaching the class, I'm just going to play some tricks. Uh, are you seeing what I'm sharing? Yes, sir. What are you seeing on the screen? It's still your Word document. Yes, yeah, at A, sir. Or good. Or that means the same documents. Good, 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 good. It means that you can't see what I'm, I'm doing then. That's very good. All right, let me see something here. No, I don't want that. All right, I should explain. Just allow me to think out loud, all right? All right, just as I said, let me just, I just want to give you the, the evidence and then I'm going to explain, all right? So I know I'm silent, but what you can do is just pay attention and just look if, if my evidence is actually answering the whole. All right, so I'm silent because I'm thinking and this is, this is the part that I have to just give you.
Are you seeing the, 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 the link between the first one and what I'm saying? But reducing nutritional value, um, and that certainly if it has anything to do with the shelf life. Okay. Here's my shelf life. As I said, just <laughs> I'm silent because I have to develop the points and then explain them. And then we're going to do one together, uh, easier one. Right. Uh, do, is it making sense to you guys? Making sense? Hello? I hope I didn't lose anybody. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.
Um, excuse me, sir. Um, um, I reach out and off the bus. Could I present after I finish teaching? Yes. Yes. Hold on. Okay. All right, there is something that I actually want to define shelf life, and I'll tell you why. All right. Uh, okay. All right, so let me start talking because I, I think I've gone to quite a bit. All right, so in this case, 
So we have the topic sentence, right? And as I said before, we are trying to come up with pieces of evidence. What you're doing here, what I did here, if A is a definition, it is not a piece of evidence. Definitions are used to provide context for the paragraph or context for the, for the reader or the listener. Tell me if you understand that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so the definition here, so the definition here is not a piece of evidence. It is just providing context for the reader or listener because it doesn't answer how or why. Understand? Yes, sir. So if you have a, if your A is a definition, it means that you have to have B, C, and D. Right? We understand that, right? We get that, right? Because you need, you need um, two to three pieces of evidence. So if A is a definition, you need B, C, and D so as we, evidence? A, yes, right. Because B, C, and D would be, the, would be answering either what, how or why. But if you don't have a definition, A is a piece of evidence, then you only need A, B, C. Tell me if you understand. Yes, sir. Yes. All right. One person says yes. Everybody yes, sir, understand. Okay. And, and yes, we sir. Can we do. Have a whole sir, I don't fully understand. All right. So tell me where you where you don't understand. And answer for the other for B, C, and D would have to answer them as whole. Oh, why we can't You're both? breaking up. Can you type in the chat? No, it can't be both. I said it before. Were you in the class when I said it? I'm typing the chat. Remember, I said to you that so, your piece is of it, evidence. It, type in the chat, please. I told you to type in the chat because I can't hear you. I am I said before that your pieces of evidence must answer one of the two. Either they answer the whole of the topic sentence or they answer the why of the topic sentence. That is a determination that you have to make as a writer. In this instance, we did say that our pieces of evidence must answer what? How, in other words, how genetically modified food extends the shelf life of food products, right people? So in this case, our topic sentences have to answer the how. Fair enough? Yes, sir. Yes, and, sir. I, and I said that you need two to three pieces of evidence, right? In this instance, if your A is a definition, then it is not counted as a piece of evidence because it is only providing context for the reader or for the listener. It therefore means that you have to move on to B, C, and D. I have noticed what I've done in order to, because Mr. Clark says I have to use four to six pieces of um, sources, I make sure that I use research counsel. Scientific Research Council of Africa two times. Because, so it's, one, it's still one source. Even though I've used it more than once, it's still one source. Everybody understands that, right? And we're allowed to do that, sir? Yes. Okay, noted. Right. So that's why I'm saying that when you go back, because this is the homework right now, when you go back, you're going to find that probably the sources that you, were, you have selected for for to, sh to show to the class, you chose it out of convenience. Now that you have to come up with pieces of evidence, you might have to change some of those sources because you find that the sources doesn't, they don't have any depth. They can't really get into the integrity of what they're saying. And remember now, all, when, I, when you're citing sources, you put only the last name and the year. In this case, I'm teaching you how to paraphrase. You're putting what the source says in your own words. You cannot write back word for word or change two or three words. If you do that, I will know because all I need to do is to run it through, turn it in. So ensure that you're being honest there because I will find out and I will give it a zero once I find out that you're plagiarizing, all right? Just warning you. And you're not supposed to cite from Wikipedia. I've said this before. Wikipedia is not a credible source. And in this case, my first source- so What about you, blogs? You can't cite from blogs. Blogs are, are, are written by people who claim to know things but don't. You do have academic blogs. If you can find an academic blog and you can show me that the person is a respected, because you do have academic blogs. I actually have colleagues at UA who have their own blogs and they actually write very serious um, articles like Professor Carlin Cooper, Professor Donna Hope, 
Dr. Stanley Naya, I know that they have blogs, all right? If you notice in this instance, one of my source is an organization, Scientific Research Council of Africa, and then another source is a person. So it could be, if it's two persons, it would be Brown and Clark. If it's two person. If it's three, you just say Brown, comma, um, let's say, Mitchell, Mitchell and Clark. That's how you do it. All right, and I, I'll teach you this separately, but I just want for you to understand this part. Do we understand? Why is it at 200? Do we understand? Yes, sir. Hanging on. Hanging on, right. I know you're hanging on. I know you're hanging on. It's, 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 um, so now I need one more piece of evidence, all right? Because my first is a definition. So I say um, I, I, my B answers how, because B, how GMO extend shelf life. I say that they use the, the gene modification to prevent the enzymes from, um, from reducing the nutritional value of the fruits by about six months. So I'm proving that GMO extends shelf life. Shelf life doesn't mean that they're on a physical shelf. In my second piece of evidence, I look at how scientists use a specific particular gene to extend the freshness of tomatoes. So in this, in my first piece of so in my first, in my first piece of evidence, I look at a time period, a duration. In my second piece, I'm looking at the, nutri the, ex the shelf life of the nutritional value of the food product. So I'm still looking at what? This is why I, I define shelf life as what? Um, not just the quality, not just the quality for consumption, but also the nutritional value. That my definition is what? Deliberate. So I'm not defining it and leaving it hanging, you know, the definition plays a role in the part, in, 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 it uh, provides context for my, for my evidence. So my first evidence goes to the first part of my definition of um, um, shelf life. And the second part goes to the second evidence. So these things are very deliberate and strategic. Fair enough, everybody? All right. Yes, yes sir. All right, people are getting silent. I know I told you that this part was going to be the part that is going to be a little bit challenging. But I'm sure you will rise to the occasion. I expect errors, but you'll get there eventually. Sure. Mm -hmm. I'm listening. Go ahead. Sorry, sir. Sorry. Is meat considered food? Yes. Okay. Yes, All right. Sir. All right. Just, just asking. Just asking. I was trying to find that spermicide and cry that you have there, sir, but I'm not getting any results. No, man. I made it up. You can't look it up. You can't look it up because I made it up. I'm just using it for demonstration purposes. Okay, sir. Yeah, man. I made it up. It's just for demonstration purposes. But sir, even if we use academic blogs, can it be used in the article? As I remember when we just started out um, with you, you had shared a social media citation guide. I have it right here in front no, of No, no, you're not. You're, no social media. <laughs> no, so, okay. not yet. You haven't earned the right yet. Okay, sir. When you reach third and fourth year, probably those lecturers will. But when you're just learning, we, we don't want you to rush to social media. We want to actually go into the the, the gutters of academic writing and go and find um, old books and dust, dust them off and, you know, blow off the dust and all of that. So we don't want you to. Um, so my last source will be.
All right, so, all right, I can use this one. Let me go on. Um, give me meat kind produced by cows. What meat, meat com what meat beef? comes from so beef, beef, sir? Only beef. Corned beef. Corned oh, beef. Yeah. So we have corned beef. Yeah, ground beef. Sir, and them say oxtail. So I'm gonna sure all true. Grown beef and steak. Ox steak is from cow? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. And them say oxtail as well. S T E A K. S E S T E A K. Yes, that's what I wrote. All right. Um, so we have corned beef, ground beef, and and so we have steak. Anything else from coal? Yeah, yeah I mean, sir. Said, oxtail. Oxtail come from coal. Are you sure? Let me look. No, sir. Oxtail are from, from ox. No, oxtail come from ox. Oxtail. oxtail. <laughs> All right. Still want the mince. What about mince? Ground beef. Mince. That's ground beef. That's ground beef. Okay. Oh. Comes from. And you can you use bur burger meat. What do they call it? Burger or beef or patties? Same ground beef you have them use. No, we don't want to. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I'm just making a point. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just formulate. Now that I know the meat kind. All right. So, food manufacturers and companies. Uh, da, da, da. Don't I, I'm telling a lie on Grace Kennedy, okay? Is it Grace Kennedy? That's what they call it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I think this is too long, irrespective of when they were consumed. I'm going to reduce the sentence, it's too long. All right, Mike, let me take out my coin. <laughs> this will come later. Mm. All right. No, not my, I don't even know cow meat. I can't even know nutritional output. All right, so let me, meat kind. Uh, I can put this in parenthesis. I think you should just take off the kind um, after the meat, just meat. All right, good suggestion. All right, so in the Caribbean manufacturing comes such as, such as, where's my ass? Uh, mm -hmm. The part we have used modified, um, take out the day, if you're going to use, use. And take out the cow and say cattle farmers. Mm -hmm. And say cattle farmers. All right, there you go. Here, my students are very bright. I'm happy for you. 
cattle farmers. Sir, corned beef, ED. All right, I think, and this has to come from a source as well. So let's say that this comes from, I don't want all of them come from a source, you know, that's the thing. Uh, sometimes it's not good there when everything comes from a source. And let's make it come from a source. There's no way to make a statement like that without it coming from a source. All right, so let's see. All right, so let's put all of this on a separate page. So that's- Is it last most longer or last? Which is it, sir? Where? To last longer? Well, they always yes, debate sir. that, you know, whether or not you need much in front or longer because it will- No, I was saying if, it, if the last should be pluralized, the meat they produce lasts much longer. That is what I was asking. So that the meat they produce oh yes meats is the word isn't there such a word as meats even yes. though we don't even though yes, we don't it, use it but there i think there's a because you have a variety that comes from the same animal right different so cuts different grade plural, different quality plural form of meat let me see if there's a meats yes there is a meats yes so i was actually so this has to be last then. So that the meats they produce last longer and yield higher nutritional output. All right, so everybody understands this, right? Let me put all of this on one page so that I can copy it and put it in the WhatsApp group as well. All right, but this needs to go up a little. Mm-hmm. Do we see how my topic sentence is answer the whole of the topic sentence? No, do you see how my supporting evidence answers the whole of the topic sentence? Yes, sir. All yes, right. sir. And, you, and you realize it takes some amount of energy. It takes a lot. It takes a lot of energy. Sir. Yes, hold on. It, are you guys, this today is Thursday, right? Yes, sir. All right, so I'm posting in the right group then. Hold on. Yeah, um, kind of. Yeah, go ahead with the question. These evidences, they're supposed to be. Pieces of evidence, in, there's no. Pieces of evidence, sorry. Pieces of evidence, are they supposed to be in one paragraph? No, no, exactly. Have... No, no, exactly. Oh, you see, I have it there. Exactly. That's why so I these did are the, all four is in the one paragraph. This is not a paragraph, this is an outline. A, B, C, D. This is not a paragraph. Also, it's an outline. It's an outline. I'm okay. going to teach you how to write up. This is not a paragraph. Okay, got it. Right. So this is extending the shelf life of food products is the final rule of genetically modified food. When I look at this, no, I, what I'm going to, what I want you to be very conscious of is ensuring that this pieces of evidence are saying the same things. They should be saying, they all should be answering in their own way the how or the why of the topic sentence. They should not be echoing each other. I hope you understand that. So you just said they should be saying the same things and then you said they should not be echoing each other. What do I mean by that? Watch me know. 
in my first, my first piece of evidence begins where? At B, right? And I look at how the GMOs, gene modification, which is the same thing as GMO, um, prevents enzymes from reducing the nutritional value by about six months. So I look at duration in this one, which goes to the extending shelf life, right? In the second piece of evidence, I look at how it the shelf life is extended in terms of the freshness. So one is duration, one is freshness, right? Is a quality, right? Thank you. And the third one looks at a different type because in the first two, I was looking at what? Like vegetables, quote unquote vegetables. But in the second one, I'm looking now at meat. Are they, you notice that they're different then? So my first piece of evidence is duration. My second piece of evidence is freshness or quality. My third piece of evidence is meat. So they are not saying the same things. They all answer how GMO extends the shelf life of food products in their own way. Understand? I'm almost there, sir. Yeah, we'll give it a shot and see what, what, what comes up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I told you that this part is going to, this is why I ensure that everybody understood up to the topic sentence because this is where now you're going to have a lot of challenges all right so for the homework each person now takes one topic sentence and comes up with their own um, supporting evidence so this is where the group separates in other words you're all in a group three of you are in the group one person yeah, probably is going to take topic sentence one, the other might take topic sentence two, the other might take topic sentence three, then you all have to ensure that you have only six sources at the end of the day. Only six sources can be on a reference list. No less than four, no more than six. So you see, it takes a lot of coordination. It takes a lot of coordination. But um, today's Thursday, today's, today's what? Thursday or Wednesday? I keep... Thursday. This is not due until Thursday. What I want for you to come for me on Tuesday is just one to show me, only one for on Tuesday. So each group is going to come and show me only one. Everybody understands, right? Yes, sir. Only yes, one sir. meaning one of the topics are just one. One of, topic the one of the topic sentences. One of the topic sentences with the three to um, two to three pieces of evidence. Okay. So in other words. Tuesday will tell me whether or not you understand. Then I will say, go and finish and uh, go and do the others. If you're having a lot of challenge when, I, when, I, when you display on Tuesday, then we have to fix it and we can't move on until you understand. Fair enough? Yes. Yes, okay, sir. Sir. Right. Because there are other things I'm going to teach you that is going to complicate things again. So I want for you to understand this, the steps as we go along, all right? Um, any question, comments? All right, let me just show you another one, but we're not gonna do the other one. I'm just gonna copy and paste it because we did. I did it last night with the other group, all right? It's the same, same. Um, so the other one is, let me put it on the other page so you can see it, in, see it as one. The other one is increasing the rate of food production is one rule of genetically modified food. In the first, we define food production. Um, GMO uses technology that prevents wastage of fruits and vegetables by enabling them to, to withstand harsh environmental conditions. In other words, the rate of production will be, it increases the rate of production because in places like the Caribbean where you have a lot of hurricanes, the GMOs will prevent the food from being quote unquote destroyed. All right, in Malaysia, farms, farmers are able to um, production of rice and corn um, by uh, making them grow much faster, rate of production, and producing more produce. The, in the third one, in the Caribbean, farmers are able to use gene modification to produce 10 years of field, pimento cassava, not only for their population, but were able to meet global demands. In other words, the rate of production is increased so that it is enough not only for their population, but for other populations. All right. So this is another example. Let me, and I'm going to email, let me email this document to you right now. Any question, comments, or queries, concerns, talk to me. Sir, um, just to get it clear. Yes. So each, 
individual going to take one of the topic sentences? Not for Tuesday. And for Tuesday, what you're going to do is come with only one. Only one I want to see on Tuesday. Oh, so you can, that, um, the that one that, that is, that, yeah, mm. go ahead. No, man, go ahead. No, but that would mean that that one person would already have found your tree. No, no, no. It no. means that the group now needs to work together on the one. Oh, for Tuesday. For Tuesday. Okay. Because if oh, the group okay. understands that one, then when the other two persons are to do their own, then it's going to be easy for they them. Can. Oh, so. Because all they're doing is just repeating the steps. Each other then. Right, exactly. We still would be working together. Okay. Exactly. Sir. So right. it is group and individual at the same time. Okay, sir. Okay. All right. So I'm going to email this document to you right now, the example, so that you can have it to look over. Even though I've posted it in the WhatsApp group, I, I still want to email it to you guys. Um, so that you understand, so you can look it over and, you know, and you can actually find examples of these things online, you know, but be careful. They must reflect what Mr. Clark is teaching you. All right, they must reflect. Um, ignore the assignments that are put online. I need to, I've he sent them an email. I don't know why Kerryon keeps popping up on my thing. So ignore those due dates and all that. I don't know how she has due dates. And this is the second week of school. It's crazy. Well, I shouldn't be saying that. Uh, this thing is being recorded. I need to be careful Sir, of my utterances. Yes. Sorry to bother you again. I just want to be clear. In yeah, man, go talk. ahead. All right. The evidence as at A, B, C, and D is to support the, the topic, topic sentence. sentence yes. And, which is a paragraph by itself. Topic Stop sentence. saying paragraph. We are not there yet. I am not okay. teaching you how to write a paragraph. You have okay. to have A, B, C, and D. That's what you have to have. You're not right. I have to teach you how to write a paragraph. And trust me, what we're doing is not paragraph writing. We are okay. only okay. developing the outline. All right, so don't say paragraph. If you say paragraph, you're going to confuse yourself and probably your peers. So don't say paragraph. We're not there yet. Trust me. I'm going to actually teach you how to write an introduction first before I teach you how to write a body paragraph it's not the same thing um what did i name this document why am i oh yes it here because i was wondering um so let me title it let me see if i've chosen all the students select students all all right student advisory um um let me call it from sentence outline anybody else wants to ask any question sir yes just for clarity once again um you said for the three evidence of the topic sentence it should it should support o or y yes so okay. when you get when you have your when you so so how do you approach it when you have your topic sentence and you meet as a group to, for the one on Tuesday, the first question you need to ask is, should my should our pieces of evidence answer how or why of the topic sentence? You must determine that before you start looking up any sources. Because when you understand if it is how or why, then you're going to know how to phrase or frame your evidence. Okay, sir, understand. Okay. All right, so confirm that you have received it in your email it, and it is your ECC email. Any confirmation? So I haven't received it as yet. Not seen it. Not I'm not seen it in the email, but I saw something in the WhatsApp group. All right. So it's probably slowly working its way to you. Probably slowly working its way to you. All Sir. right. Yes. So one question. So last week Dave was not was was absent, and so you placed someone else in our in our group. No, we have five, uh, sorry, four persons. You can't have four persons. Sir, um, 
sir, in the Tuesday, Tuesday, last week, Tuesday. What was, um, hold on, hold on. What did I copy and paste in the WhatsApp group? The groups, remember, all the groups were, I copy and pasted the list in the WhatsApp group. And I, I'm almost sure it's Dave. Dave no, actually, sir, I'm not seeing my name in the list. Sir, he was absent. He wasn't feeling well. Listen, uh. remember, I think Dave was was coupled up with some person, somebody who was new or something like that. No, man, I was in Anika group, sir. People, right. please look back at the list that was placed in the WhatsApp group. Listen, Please. originally Shane was in the group, and she, I don't know what happened to Shane, and then you put Dave in the group. Mm -hmm. So originally Shane was the person that was there first. Right, and I think because it was four, we said who joined the group last, and it was Dave who joined the group last. Dave was placed in a group I distinctly, I, I've taught Dave before, so I know his name. He was placed in, a, and I'm almost sure, I'm getting old, but I'm almost sure I placed him with somebody who was new. One of the persons in that group is actually new. And I said, okay, Dave has been here sometime, so Dave can assist her to be brought up to speed in terms of the expectations and what she's supposed to do. No, that's Casanova, uh, that that sir. Mariana. That's <laughs> People, I know I placed what did what did I place in the group for the persons who are talking? What are whose three names are on the list? Currently, um, in the WhatsApp Rohana, group, yes. Rohana, Anika, and Shane. So who should be all right? You tell me who should come out the group then. Sir, your decision. That's no, 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 no. That's not my decision. <laughs> that's not you guys have to work out the the, the, the logistics of that. Not my decision at all. So when you work it out, you get back to me, all right? Okay, sir. All right. Is there somebody who is new in the class? Didn't I think there was a new person? No, it's the, it's the class from last night. There was a new person last week that appeared with me, sir. Okay. What's the name of that? Is it... Um, it's not... It's Gillian Sims. Sims. Is she here tonight? No, sir. All right, so Dave, you're going to work with Miss Masters, okay? So I already have three persons. Oh, you have three persons? Is there yes, a group with two? and Gillian. Do we have a group with, with two? Yes, sir, that my group, but as I said, we haven't started because it was last week we got the topic. What topic is it again? All right, so Dave, you're going to work with Phil Donnet, Donnet, um, and the other person, okay? Okay, okay sir. Yes. We can't have four in the group. Once you have over three, then students, it becomes, you have to have four body parts, and then not marking those long papers. It's difficult to mark. It's going to take too long to complete marking. So just exchange particulars with Dave for me. Um, done it and the other person. Are there any okay. questions? Because the class actually has ended 13 minutes ago. Unless oh. you want to come to consultation, please don't come to consultation. I'm tired, <laughs> not today. <laughs> I'm really tired. <laughs> okay, good night, sir. Good night, everybody. Night, every night, people. Is there night, anybody who's coming to anybody coming to consultation? Yes, yes, sir. sir. Yes, sir. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Good night, sir. So we just messing with you. We have um fundamental of accounting. Oh yes, yeah. Oh right, right. Because you have class now. Bye. No consultation. <laughs> it's nice to see you starting to enjoy the class. We can see where you're having fun with us now. You stop because we are good, good. Because <laughs> you're and, growing. <laughs> and tell us don't that you earned the soon. right to make Rashidian, it big. Don't talk too soon, honey. Please. Don't talk too much time to back. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys Bye, next everyone. week. All right, have a good night, everybody.